And Demas woman is behind bars tonight after police found her dog dead inside her car during our hot weather. And CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Pomona where her two other pets are being treated. Tina? Well, Pat, it was well over 100 degrees in that car, which is why vets here are now keeping a close eye on the animals that did survive. Their owner now facing three felony counts of animal cruelty. Christian Sabalos and Celine Escobar both wait until evening to bring their dogs to the park. They say in the summer they worry about them getting overheated. I work 7 a.m. till 3.30, so I'm constantly calling my mom, hey, check on his water, make sure he has water. I work 10 minutes away from my house, so I go for my lunch just to make sure she's still okay. Like every time, like I put ice cubes in her water. They think every pet owner should take precautions like that, which is why they were disturbed to hear about Jennifer Origa. Ontario police arrested her yesterday afternoon after she allegedly left her cat and two dogs inside a parked car on Shelby Street. They broke the window to rescue the animals, but one chihuahua didn't make it. Oh man, that's sad. That, that hurts because <laughs> I look like I'm a dog lover, especially dogs. Vets with the Inland Valley Humane Society are now treating the surviving dog and cat who were both in heavy distress when they were found. They don't know how long the animals had been left, but say it was 113 degrees in the car. Inside a vehicle, it's a lot hotter. It gets 30 degrees warmer in a matter of 30 minutes. In fact, investigators used a special thermometer to show us just how quickly temperatures do rise. That's why they say pet owners should never take a chance with their animals. Common sense. Just use your common sense. If you don't want to be left in the vehicle in the heat yourself, why would you expose your pet to that? Ariga is due in court tomorrow. Investigators tell me it'll be up to the judge to decide what happens to the dog and cats that survived, but they say it's unlikely they'll be returned to her. That's the latest in Pomona. We'll send it back to you.